Hello everybody and welcome back to North Car North Guard, not North Card. Um Wow, what a great way to start off an episode. Anyway, in today's episode we are going to be expanding our little colony thing here. Our guys over there scouting as he should be. And um, we uh, bought this zone, or I say bought it, but we colonized this zone in the last episode. So we are going to be doing some stuff with that, such as building a house, because we're at our max population right now. So, gotta take advantage of that space by building a house. Also, the audio, the game audio probably just dropped quite a bit. I, it was super loud to me, so. I turned down, let me know if you think it's too quiet, too loud. I'll adjust accordingly. Actually, you know what? I'll make it a little loud for the recording, but lower volume for me. But anyway. Oh, we're under attack. By whom? That's not good. We're under attack by wolves? Yeah. Unarmed villagers, go attack that wolf. Your sacrifice will be worth it. Get it. Get it. Oh yeah, we didn't even lose a single villager. Alright, well, all of you go back to doing your thing. I guess we need to build a training camp, though, because... Yeah, none of these people are really doing anything. And we're getting minus 12 food, wow. That should all change back in just a second. Hopefully. Okay, very nice. So, we do need um, somebody to go build the, z the zones over here. Um, unfortunately, we can't really spare a lot of people at the moment. Because we are not making much full food. And hey, would you look at that? We have our lore thing. So, reduce environmental hostility by 70%. Increase non-villager productions by plus 10%. Construction cost minus 50% wood to build. You know what? That one seems useful. So we will do that as our building. Yay, more villagers. Which means more can spawn now. Up to 13. Which is great. Because we really need more people gathering food. Especially for the winter. Which is rapidly approaching. And that's not good for us. We've established contact with the dwarves. Uh, these guys are actually uh, pretty nice overall. Usually. Um, as far as all my playthroughs that I've, well, played through, um, they seem pretty simple. Simple guys. Don't do too much. Um, there's, it comes to a point where they try to, like, trade gems with you, which is interesting. Um, but I haven't really done much with them. I haven't done much with any of the factions in this game. We were just getting to sort of the more diplomacy stage of the game in the last season, whenever the file corrupted. So, yeah kind of sucks, but looks like we can assign this person to be a warrior now since we have some food, at least. Can you? What happens if you do that? Do you? Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine. Come on. Pop out another villager town hall, please. Pretty please. Mender's hut. I think, we, yeah, we already have one of those. Okay. Gather lore whenever, when otherwise not busy. So that actually boosts our lore, which is nice. Whenever we get spare people, we definitely want to assign more to that. Maybe after winter, because winter is going to take up a lot more food um, than the rest of the month. So we just need to be careful about that. About who we assign to do what during the winter months, because it can definitely come back to bite us. <laughs> but yeah, in winter... Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think we went through winter in the last episode, because the last episode was pretty quick. But yeah, you go through a lot more wood and a lot more food. So, got to be careful about how you manage your resources in those times. Because um, if you don't manage them well, then it can definitely cause a lot of detriment to your colony. So, that really sucks whenever that happens. We are just about to go into November here. Hey, we are in November actually. Oh, that means my birthday was not too long ago. I have a November birthday. I like it because it's uh, 
Not too far away from Christmas, but still with enough, enough separation that I don't get the bundle gifts, gifts like Christmas and birthday gifts in, in one package. Which I am thankful for. And of course, I'm not, I'm not gonna deny it, I'm quite spoiled, so my parents always, uh, got me what I wanted and everything. I've had a very fortunate life overall. I'm very thankful for it. I've been afforded a lot of opportunities that a lot of people never are. That's not good. We're getting attacked. Should we attack that wolf? It seems more dangerous. Holy crap, they wrecked that thing, and we didn't even lose a villager. Wow. This warrior is kind of useless. I feel like this warrior was a woman before, but... I really don't... think... he is anymore. Oh well. Who am I to judge? Well, we are losing resources, but not by a large margin, so... And we actually... <sighs> Excuse me. We're actually still pretty happy, which is... Um... Normally, happiness tends to drop a little bit in the winter, but... Since we have that brewery, everything is working out great. Overall. We're about to hit our max population again. So I guess... Well... How many build... Okay, four buildings. So we can build at least one other house. I want to rotate it, but I don't think it will let me do it manually. Well, now we're definitely using a lot of food. Or, I mean... Ga or needing a lot of wood, is what I'm trying to say. And now we're going to be losing more food. See, if we didn't have that brewery, we would be at zero happiness, which is not good at all. Oh shoot, we are completely out of wood. Well, thank god I decided to build this when I did. Because otherwise we would be in even more of a crisis than we are right now. Any minute though. Come on, finish. Okay, immediately work in that, because we need more. Thank you. Okay, so now we can choose our, ne our next lore thing. Um, reduce the amount of food necessary to colonize one zone by 30%, or food silos can a 10% food production bonus. Sure. That'll be useful, I'm sure. So, approve food produced by specialized workers. Okay, that's interesting. Oh no, our scout was hurt, but hey! It is no longer winter, which is a great thing for us. We have um, a bunch of spare food now, which is wonderful. So we can go ahead and get that house built, and our population will continue to grow in the next episode. So, oh, actually, I'll take care of this first. Come on, don't kill the villager. Kill the villager. Dang it. Well, that sucks. Oh well, we'll recover from it in the next episode, and I'll just, I'll just go have you do that. But anyway, I thank you very, very, very much for watching, and if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. Bye.